Hello, we are going to see quickly about the CPU interfaces and the slots available on the motherboard. We are going to spend a lot more time on understanding all the slots and the sockets that you have on the motherboard. To start with, we are going to see first the CPU slot, then we will go with the RAM socket, then we go with other rest of the sockets that are available on the board. It is very important to understand this classification to understand the significance of each of these boards. All of them have got a great sense and there is a great reason behind why to choose this particular slot for the particular design. We will first see the CPU slots. Intel and AMD both have got separate slot designs. They have got their unique slot designs for their processor. Each of the slot will be uh, supporting varieties and the different ranges of the process and upgrade of the same version of the process too. What is this socket all about? Socket or slot remain the same for us. So what is this socket all about? This socket is nothing but a connector or a layer or a mediator between the microprocessor and the motherboard. The microprocessor talks to the motherboard through the socket. The socket holds the microprocessor tight. So it is a mounting point for the microprocessor and it actually saves the microprocessor from any sort of damages or vibration or even movement. When you are working, the microprocessor should not move. And if it moves, probably it will cause a lot of damages and the board itself may get damaged. So this is a kind of lock that we have in hand, which totally keeps it tight and then we use it without any problem. Intel has got its own variety of socket making. AMD has got its own variety of socket making and they are totally different. I cannot use a different processor into a slot which is not meant for it. It cannot even go in. A CPU socket is also regarded as CPU slot. Whatever we have now in the modern day setup, the socket name, I mean this setup is called as PGA architecture. PGA is nothing but pin grid array. Pin grid array architecture suits perfectly for all integrated circuits housing which include microprocessor as well. We have a socket like a square or a rectangle where you can house it properly. I mean the processor properly and then lock it with a metal latch, latch or a plastic latch or a lever. Multiple uh, methods are available to do it. I am going to show you the example which uh, we have captured from internet and you can see that this is how the AMD processor socket looks like. I have a latch or a lever here. I can pull it. The moment I pull it, what will happen is this gets open this is the housing this gets open this cover gets open i can place the processor here then lock it then push it back onto the position this is one method the second one is very straightforward and easy i can place it over it and lock it straight away and it may have a, a cooling fin over it which will make sure that the restriction i mean the movement is properly restricted and it is also safe this is how the intel does it this is how the amd does it both are unique both are different I cannot keep a processor which is made by Intel into a AMD socket and vice versa. You will have to remember one thing which is very important. Whatever we use is called as pin grid array architecture. Please remember this. This is the only thing that I want you to remember. And when you go into the motherboard, when you want to remove the processor, please make sure that you are doing it after knowing how to remove the socket. That's it for this session. We will come back with the next slot and the socket detail in the next session. Thank you.